What's up guys, Mr. B here, and today we're gonna talk about circuits and switches. So it's pretty simple when you have a circuit, you have an open circuit or you have a closed circuit. Now what that means when you have an open circuit, that means there is not a complete path, continuous path to allow electrons to flow. In that case, you will not have your circuit on and in a function in order. When you close the circuit, you allow electrons to flow and then your circuit will work. Now what we need to do is we need to be able to control that energy. We need to be able to tell it when it turns on and when it turns off. So we do that with switches. We have all kinds of different switches which allow us to control the electricity on when it's going to be on and when it's going to be off. So we close and open switches, circuits with switches. So the purpose of today's lesson is that you will understand the difference between different types of switches and how they function. So let's go ahead and get started in our procedure. Okay, so now we're gonna go over a open circuit versus a closed circuit. And then we're also gonna discuss switches. And the purpose of the switches is to control the circuit. So I have a power supply giving me five volts. I'm gonna plug it into the circuit right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take the negative power supply and come into a light. That light is going to leave and go into a second light. And then I'm going to leave that light and go back to the power supply. So this is a closed circuit. There is a continuous path for electrons to travel from the negative to the positive. The problem with this is because we don't implement switches, we can't control the circuit. It is just on always. The only way to, re to open the circuit would be to remove the power which is not the ide ideal way to remove power. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add switches to our circuits. So I'm gonna take this wire out, give my power back, and we're gonna start with a push button normally open. So I will come from my negative power. I will go into the PBNO, push button normally open. I will leave the push button normally open and I'm gonna come back to the circuit. So it's the same circuit I just had, but now I implemented a push button in front of or in series with the rest of the lights. Since it is normally open, we have learned that an open circuit has no continuous path. You need to close the circuit. So the normal state is open. When it is not being pressed, the circuit will not work. When you do press the button, now you allow current to flow and it will work. We call this a momentary switch. It only works for the moment that you press the switch. Next, we want to flip the or invert that way it worked and we're going to move from a normally open button to a normally closed button. So in this scenario, when it says the normal state is closed, that means when you are not pressing the button, it is going to be a closed circuit. We learned that a closed circuit has continuous path and will allow electrons to flow. So when you are not doing anything, it's gonna be on always until you press the button. And when you press the button, now you will open the circuit. Now we're gonna to switch to something called a maintained switch. A maintained switch is something that you use every day in your house when you turn your lights on. You press the button and the lights stay on. So we're gonna go ahead and bring the power over to our switch. And the way the switch works is when you engage the switch, it goes on and it stays on. I don't have to sit there and hold the button. It is a maintained switch. And when you switch it to the off, it will maintain in the off position. So this is a way to create a uh, open and close in a maintained state. We call this a single pole, single throw. It brings one power in and then it throws it in one direction. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the power from that. I'm gonna to move to a switch we call a single pole double throw now. So I'm gonna actually take these away. I'm gonna bring my power from my negative supply into the center of this switch. And it's like a train track. I can choose to go left or I can choose to go right. So I'm gonna bring the right side of the switch to this first lamp. And then I'm gonna bring the left side of the switch to the 
other lamp. And then I'm going to bring power back to my power supply on both lamps. They're both going to have their own path back to the power supply. And the way it works is it's either or. It's going to go left or it's going to go right. I can't engage both of these because I'm using a single pole. I bring one source of power into the switch, but then it throws it in two different directions. So single pole, double throw. The next switch I'm going to use is what we call a double pole, double throw. So you bring power to two different locations. So double pole, two sources of power coming into the switch. And each of those locations can send power out. So they're single pole, but they can only send it out in one, one direction. So double pull, two sources of power coming in, single throw, each one throws it in one direction. And then we're going to give power back. And it's, it's essentially it's two of the single pull, single throw switches. It's just turning on two lights with one switch. And now we're going to move on to our double pull, double throw. So we're going to have uh, a switch that can have two sources of power, but it can throw it in two different directions. So it's like our single pull double throw, but it's going to be two of those. So we're going to bring power into the center of each of those switches. I'm going to go ahead and add a second set of lights. And then I'm going to leave the left side of the switch. And I am going to go to this light. I'm going to leave the left side of the switch and go to the same set. I'm going to leave the right side of the switch and go to the other lights. So I'm going to leave the right side and now go to this lamp. And I'm going to leave the right side again and go to this lamp. And we're going to bring all these back to the power supply. And then I'm going to give my power back to the circuit. And the way this works is now it can throw it in two different directions. So if you notice, two lights are on. So two sources of power coming in and two sources of power leaving in each of those. So essentially four lights. Now, as we move on later in the lessons, we'll go over different kinds of switches. But these are the basic switches I want you to get the concept of. Uh, and as long and when we get further into our lessons, we'll add a whole lot more switches into our content. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed.